Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theories. Today we are talking about Revival. We are so close to the end, y'all. Alright, so this is uh my favorite of the new Stephen King books. The new I guess my favorite after the accident books. Um, so since 1999, this is my favorite one. The Outsider is now in the top five, and we'll get to that one next. Also, before I get any farther, before I go ahead and do it and upset you guys, do you guys mind if I do all three of the Mercedes books all together in one video? The reason for that is I'm just going to be repeating myself in three videos, if not, because the one book, if I tie in one of the books, I'll be able to tie in all of them. So I'd like to do one long video based on the Mercedes or Hodges trilogy. Um, and if you guys are cool with that, let me know down there. Um, because if you guys don't scream foul, I'm just going to do it. Okay? Um, so back to Revival. I loved every minute of this book. This is Stephen King's bleakest, darkest, most upsetting novel since Pet Cemetery. Um, the, the part that I like the most about this book, and I'm passionate about this, is how well he captured the fleeting nature of life. How quickly he showed um, a person that, I think, Jamie's whole life from, you know, almost, well, I can't remember, about six, I uh, forget how, how young Jamie is at the beginning, all the way until the end of life. Um, and that's not spoiler. I'm not saying he dies or not, but all the way into old age, I guess, is the way you go from spring, summer, you know, fall, winter in somebody's life. Um, another thing is how desperate and broken Charlie Jacobs becomes, the pastor. Um, and there is some great riffing on religion in this book. Whether you're a believer or not, there's some great questions that are brought up, some great asides to what happens afterward um, and the answers that are given at the end of this book I appreciate that Stephen King had the guts to actually give an answer there are some people who think that he went too far and spoiled it and got you know crazy wacky whatever but I appreciated him actually taking I mean this isn't the end of needful needful things or the end of the stand here. This is him taking a huge leap going, okay, this is how I envision or this is for this book, this is how I envision it. Um and it was it was risky. And a man seventy years old still taking risks. Well back then you know, it was like sixty eight, whatever. But how does this tie in to the Dark Tower series? I have some pretty hard connections for you that I don't see anywhere when I look online, and I don't know why. Um, I've been to the fan theories. I've been to the uh, the actual Stephen King dot uh, com connections. I've been through Reddit. I've been through several different things, and everybody's always talking about how um, there's tie-ins to the roses and all that stuff, and they're talking about number nineteen. Nobody talks about the fact that this book actually. Occur that in this book he mentions Jerusalem's lot. That right there is a hard tie-in because of Salem's lot. I mean, in Salem's lot you have characters that are in the Dark Tower series. So if those characters, ex if that town exists in this timeline, then that, then this one puts it on the path of the beam, so to speak. Another thing is um, you have Harlow, um, Harlow from, and where this is going to become a point important when we get to Stand By Me because of Old Harlow Road. Also, Castle Rock is mentioned. Um, and the hard connect for Castle Rock, if nothing else, is the newest one, Gwendy's Button Box, but we'll get to we'll get we'll get to that stuff when we get there. Um, so did I miss anything? Is there anything you want to holler at me? Um, if so, you probably need to hop over to Stephen King's fan theories and drop it down there also. I don't play in that playground, but, you know, you guys are more than welcome to. Um, jump over there and drop some of this stuff down because nobody's talking about it. At least not that I can find. So, until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!